The history of matrices goes back to ancient times, but the term matrix was not applied to the concept until 1850. The origin of mathematical matrices lies with the study of systems of simultaneous linear equations. An important Chinese text from between 300 BC and AD 200, nine chapters of mathematical art, gives the first known example of use of matrix methods to solve simultaneous equations. In the Threesis, seventh chapter, too much and not enough, the concept of first determinant first appears nearly two millennia before its supposed invention by the Japanese mathematician Sikikoa in 1683 or his German contemporary Gottfried Lipnitz. More uses of matrix-like arrangements of numbers appear in chapter 8, Method of Rectangular Arrays, in which a method is given for solving simultaneous equations using a counting board as mathematically identical to the modern matrix method of solution outlined by Carl Gauss, also known as Gaussian elimination. The term matrix for such arrangements was introduced in 1850 by James Joseph Sylvester. Since their first appearance in ancient China, matrices have remained important mathematical tools. Today, they are used not simply for solving system of simultaneous linear equations, but also for describing the quantum mechanics of atomic structure, designing computer games, graphics, analyzing relationships, and even plotting complicated dance steps. The elevation of the matrix from mere tool to important mathematical theory owes a lot to the work of female mathematician Ogle Todd, who began by using matrices to analyze vibrations on airplanes during World War II and became a torchbearer for matrix theory. This shows the importance of matrices and that is why we need to have a better understanding of it.